TSL, SSL uh, configurations of some websites, and I mean some, not all, only uh, at that time 220, now 275 of the websites. And <coughs> it's not a random test, so it's not good to make, to say this is real good uh, statistics. Um, it's just those sites who came across my mind and I tried them, that's all. So it's not taken randomly. Um, I got, I think, about 95% of the internet banks in Holland. So maybe those statistics should be right. That's about 38 internet sites. Governmental, it's uh, central, regional, and local governments. 42 of them. Websites, doing web trade, doing web services, doing partner things, uh, doing uh, 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 advisements, etc., etc. 54. Healthcare, it's the most troublesome I got against. Uh, mainly chat. Chat, which is needed. Chat, which is really needed to be there. Though those volunteers do quite a good job on that. However, security is just coming up. Yeah, 41 sites. And uh, I try to do the e desks for education, academic sites. So that's higher than university sites. In Holland, close, 25 of them. Much more as I did in uh, November. And I said, hmm, I have quite some friends. Uh, I will try to get rid of them, or I'm getting old. Uh, so I tried to access those friends I knew and some others I don't knew. 24 of them. So what I'm going to show is some figures, let's say from uh, November, and figures, if needed, from before the DigiNoter one and after the DigiNoter one. And I must say there is no difference between the figures I got from half of August and half of September. The general question. So that are all the sites. 270. Here is another one. And what you see here is later on. No difference between the two. So 70. And what you see as well is quite some improvement. Blue is A rate, it's the high. And B is also acceptable. The rest is not acceptable to the last week. But you see here, it's far more better than it was even a year ago. And I did also the test in February, and the figures of February saw a growth in the same direction. So it is during the year the stable of the improvements. However, there are still a lot, a lot wrong. Okay, we talked about different six categories. Here is the show in November, and here is the show in February. And you don't, you see here, not much of a difference. It's about the same thing. People get better sometimes, sometimes it's good. There is some growth there. On you later. Here you see the improvements. Thanks. Pretty good. Education, also good. Health, quite important for them. <laughs> for the teams, you know. Security, about the same. Thanks is the majority. Government, 12% here. 23, it's a little bit better, but not much. What I found, a year ago, 
as CA was local host, that's good. That's so on. So there is some understanding growing. Morning. That's October. You should look at uh, trusted ones. Efforts rating. Trust. <coughs> Protocol. Use of Protocols here, TLS1, spoke about, everybody supports that. Mm -hmm. And here, 46% still supporting in, in that particular moment. So, see the top. Here, this is the administration here, only 88%, the rest is only for security. That's Kuto. Now, oh, big servers, we know that already. Okay, today. Here, if it's rating, banks 80%. All the big ones fall in that category. I can look to more data later. Trusted CA, the use of a trusted CA, not a local host, etc. That's also important. 97%. In figures, the average feed for protocols, key exchange, the civil shipper algorithms. Certificate type, is it uh, domain validated, is it extended validated? Still low. Protocols, still about the same picture. Little improvement here, <coughs> but that should be no goal. And here, PCI compliant, nobody is there, so don't look there. Here is one. I come up to that later. It's only one. In the whole of only one. PCI compliant is the DSS uh, one. 47%, it's not much, is something. <coughs> Weak sitters use, should be zero, or that should be that type of uh, account here. Numbers of zeros would be not zero percent, but is it still something wrong? But okay, more detail. Then we come to the banks. You see on the top here, all the, that's November, and here is today. No red anymore. It's good. However, 24% still give a man in the middle warning. 24%. Mainly on the small end. 72% is PCI support. It should be longer, if you ask me. <coughs> Not so difficult. Last year, they did quite a lot of remarks on the ENG, Postpan. Well, on their certificates, you think the whole range. Mine, dot, Postpan. Mine, without the dot, Postpan. Mine, with the dot, ENG. Mine, without the two dot. A mistake here. And how the hell can you remember all those banks are the same one? Um, yeah. Yeah, microphone for that. <laughs> I need one extra. Now on. Yeah, order visual. Okay. <laughs> Wild cards. Banks at least should not have a wild card. Please, don't. Two. Two. Why not? If I get a certificate with, let's say, AP, dot, 
dnv.nl, which is for some years pretty easy to get. But they don't check them. Then people will think I'm the bank. You still need a certificate, you need to spoof DNS, you need. No. It's a certificate that says I'm the bank. It's pretty easy to have the domain on any name without DNS the second. I don't agree, but don't have wildcard. FBI had an expired certificate. Mm. And no extended validation. FBI or FBA? FBA. And I have a mistake then. Okay, I have to, to look up in my uh, spreadsheet on the name. DMB, Argentina, Triodos, 40 bits. <coughs> and have CA chain issues, which came along with the DC Noter uh, thing. That's a lesson we learned there. Direct Bank, from Holmes Bank Online, have a DC. Only the domain is validated. IT Bank Beard. Ideal DAB, Trios, Rolls Beard, Lease Plan, Support, SL, SSL, 2.0. Ideal. Yeah, it's on my picture for this talk. C Rank. That sells, says what the trust is. I know they are not a bank, but it says what trust is. 40 bits, no PCI compliance, and allow 40, allow 10 week sales. No security negotiation. No EFI or DFI certificate. And we already came to that. The Ubuntu release they use is old. With banks, 39% still allow insecure renegotiation. In November last year, it was 79. So there is improvement. When you say the Ubuntu release is too old, do you mean to say it's unmaintained or is it just old? Still well, I, get, I don't know if it's maintained. If it's maintained, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't the signature says that, and that's all what I know. I don't know what they do there. <laughs> the Ubuntu supports some of its releases for three years. So. Yeah, but it's running on the pitch shirt that has been uh, in the wire for a long time. So. Okay. So yeah, but once again, the signature can be a false sign. I don't know. Well, Maybe it's a honeypot. If, if you use the standard update things, you will not have that signature because you will actually be updating. It's a, it's a suggestion that they probably do not do regular updates. Yeah. It might be true. And the question I don't know. is trust. I don't do you Maybe trust them to do updates? Maybe it's just a point, but... <laughs> Government. Ah, okay. Did you know to learn it already? 21% of the chain has chain issues or the chain is too long. 10%, only 10% has an extended validated certificate. And I said already, this time I didn't find any local host sign as a sign-in. Bali Delft was the worst one. <coughs> it's local government. As an expired certificate, F rating, and SSL 2.0. Maybe they should learn now something from Amsterdam. <laughs> END, D rate, allow 40 bits. Still, SSL 2, and a long chain. Overheid NL, police are champs on big civil support at the highest that category. Local govs with low rate, a whole bunch of them. But again, the self-made certificates are gone. E-commerce, also improvement. Not that much as with banks, but okay. Only TV2 has an A rating. So from the providers, they belong in this list. 
DV CR set of a DV uh, certificate only access for all UPC lowest rating and Brabant net. It's on Brabant net. 25% has chain issues or the chains too. So providers have to learn something still, and they should know it. 13 of the 83 have a host name with a wild child. Wild card. EV on the third is only three or four. Oh, no, Wake up, cool blue, and cotton. Pixmania, no security at all. Expired, TT Tech. T Tech. And has the lowest rating, not only because of the expiring. So, conclusion. 35% have validated CA. 42 support 40 bits. 42 support also SSL2 protocol. There should be none. Best is Bacon and Quantum. They're the champions. With a rate of 88% and no issues at all. Pretty good. We have for web trade a type of certification marking establishments, groups, say for the user, yes, they do their web trade in a fair way. Pity of them in November, and I don't know the situation right now, but I, don't, I think it will not be improved much. All of them is about finances trade. Do they expect, do they do their job what is legally should be done well. No one asked them, the websites, to look if they are certified with, let's say, PCI, PSS, that type of uh, arrangement. So there is no one in Holland looking care of their security stuff for the websites and the security of their certification users. And I think those can, those all of them should do that. The one in the middle is uh, the one who do it only, and they say they do it only, we do it only for the legal affairs. So make sure that those contracts you get there are according to the Dutch law. So they are, they are honest. I don't show you the pictures of July 2010, only November, because in November it was a little, a little bit better, and still here it's growing well. 36 use SSL, 56 use a CS cert one, which is pretty good. And 22% have validated search, so they learn something. And here, the domain validated, and here this is the only one, sense or user EV server. 65% has a bad configuration. Weak servers, SSL2, and the champion kit XL uh, has about five different different host names, how you can make sense of that. Expired SERP, grip on your dip and check bell signs, and the champ again is, don't get it here, sense 4, but the chain 6, that's really too long. It's, it's better, it's getting better. Academic <coughs> desk guide, 25 of them, situation again here, here, twice is better, good. Chain issue still, SSL2, it's getting bored. CWI is the best one, but uses a wild card and has a chain issue. 40 bits, still on the technical universities, that's crazy. 
they had experts around. Probably they are silent about it. Only 12% has a DV card. None of them have an EV card. DV cell. Best webmail, AVA, NL. That's uh, Hogeschool van Amsterdam, I believe. Yeah. And they trap both of them. DV CA card, JSN supported webmail, and no secure renegotiation. So you can always say something about that. <coughs> Terena has a big market share in the academic world. <coughs> Internet sites, the security sites, CSF have done well. However, they are not accredited. A high rating, good in the NES. Uh, they give a good trust feeling, except that their CA who signed the certificate is not trusted. EV SSL has an unknown set type from EG Node. EV SSL has something to do with CA as well. Lowest rating 40 bits and weak zippers. Registries SADM. There are two different sites, one to do the, the, the web access and the web uh, front and the other is doing the registration. So they, are, they have a different thing to protect. So that's why there are two of them. However, uh, there are with the registries no extended validation, cert, right and SEDM. Weak CIFR supported, 90% of them still support weak CIFRs. They report all right. And Tunix. Uh, maybe it's a playground there. Yeah, I don't know why. Pink Crocada is the only one with certificate authority chain issues. Best overall. All the all of them in my test set is set Starcom. As a rating of 93% is PCI and FIPS already but have a low exchange rate. They are really, I think, the best I have in my test set. So far, all the categories. Comments? Back, back to uh, government, what, what can you tell about the website of DV Day? I didn't see that one. No, it's, uh, it's improved. Yeah. Uh, nearly uh, when I was doing my presentation. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there is, there are, I didn't find issues to tell you now about it. So they did what they should do, I think. That's why I didn't mention it. Much is improved, but there are still loose ends everywhere. <coughs> Only 4.4.5% is FIPS value, search start com. It ain't hard, hard, but if you want to have an open SSL certification, an assessment and audit done, it costs you 30k dollars. It's a high price. End user is still unable to require an acceptable level of security assistance. You cannot talk to your bank at some point of time. Some of them. The CA coloring only say maybe. Maybe it's trust, maybe it's not. Lessons I learned from the DHL. Bifurcation time is doubted. Question was there? No? Okay. Um, once you have support of HTTPS, do all your traffic over HTTPS. Redirect over port 82, port 44, 3. Please. Might be a little bit slower, but you avoid a lot of problems. Look at your other applications, like email, like SSH. Make sure they are updated to use the proper security machine. Accreditation of CAs, Certificate Authority, once again and again, 
is bad lack of reviewing and bad certification. Good configurations, still far away, but we are getting there. And it's not it's that hard. There is a lot written about it. You can find a lot of things, a lot of help there. Around. So I have some, uh, some questions uh, or some uh, advices to Nelly. Nelly, come on. DNSSEC, validation should be done. You must make sure that the IP address is the correct one. X Finance 9 said, make sure that the validation is done well, the name is correct, and it's the measurements are taken well. You all are relying on that. ACTP, eh? ACTP the so the secret suites policies. You must make sure that the definition is, that there is a definition how they are should be used and how they should be applied and maintained and all. Do it. Check, maintain, audit. Check, maintain, audit. And most importantly, please assess everything in the open air. Make sure that everybody understands what you're doing, for that's trust. You build trust through openness. Okay, I'm a close this. With the phrase of Ross Anderson from his book. Phone companies spent the 70s figuring out ways to stop phone freaks getting free calls. Premium, once premium rate numbers appeared, the real problem became stopping the frap. Okay, did we, t did we take that as a lesson at that time? No. Okay. Where is my... Okay. Here is an error of my slides. Now we can do that. Oops. So, the lessons were not learned. Here's the next one. We learned about crooks hacking bank smart cards and put in lots of, lots of back end protection for early electronic purposes. Well, the attack came via pay TV smart cards. So, they concentrated on the wrong thing. It's difficult. The closer there here, you might have some discussions. Please come with your questions, whatever. There is a paper in November I wrote, and it's a heavy paper, it's 44 pages. It has lots of lots of hints, lots of documentation. So uh, use that as a reference system. Still available from the NLUG website. And well, um, I thought I had one. Is it? This is what happens when. This is what happens when, on the last minute, some changes are made. What I wanted to have as well, what I made, uh, is a uh, reference on the Competa uh, download site. It's Competa.nl slash... Is she net port? Sorry? Is she the net port? Yeah. Is that on the net box code? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. 
naar beneden. Ik ga het naar beneden. Eentje naar beneden. Nog één. Ja, oh nee, ik ben een M. 83 door gezellig. Nog verder, verder. Dat is die. Ja. <laughs> Thank you. Who knows the presentation? <laughs> There's a repos completed the from download. There are two of them. One is the first one is all the slides and the notes made. So some of the remarks are made and reference to that is you can, can find that there. And the assessments one is a PDF file from all the spreadsheet uh, data I have. So if you are Okay, I want to look it up. Is there? We'll we'll mail the uh, URLs as well to you all. Not BGP signatures on these files. Now the the problem there is a, there is a big problem with my PGP. It says Toes Hagen, and my birth certificate says Tony Hagen. So I'm two different people. So if I sign it with Thurs Hagen, it might be someone else, as for instance Tony Hagen. It's all about trust. It's all about trust. <laughs> <laughs> Is it therefore that your own domain does not have the N? <laughs> okay. More questions? If someone wants to progress on that and redo all the date in the spreadsheet, please feel divided. <laughs> okay, if there's there's no questions, let's thank the speaker. I do have a no. question. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, yeah. Because you did this, about the very same talk uh, last year at the NLUUG uh, uh, conference, uh, I was wondering, have you been contacted by any of the organizations that uh, you have assessed? Um, good question. Um, uh, in July last year, in October last year, in uh, August this year, I did the assessments and with the assessments, the scripts, uh, I approached all the uh, uh, sites I tested, assessment with them, uh, with the result of the assessment. In <coughs> At that moment, I got a reply from a very few people I knew. So they responded because they <coughs> knew me. Um, and this year, I got a response of CSR, uh, from Rai, and from the Free University, and from the Fox University in uh, Limburg. And that one replied with me, yes, you're right, you can buy your certificate from us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got several other emails back saying, yes, we will come back you, with you in seven work days. Uh, you have this <laughs> response number. <laughs> I got also an email saying, and that was also uh, last year, from um, uh, the webmaster of a certain site saying the user webmaster doesn't exist. <laughs> oh, okay, that's an automatic reply. Uh, I must say, you know, much of those emails I send away, maybe they went into the email box of, let's say, someone in the kitchen or whatever. Um, for me not so important as I have informed them as much as I could do with my results. Um, did you get uh, later on some, uh, some reaction? I did not get any reaction from the ENG and from the TGA, but they replied via tweakers.net yeah. saying no, it hadn't such uh, a, a good uh, uh, priority. It was not high on our priority list. Mm -hmm. It was high as soon as it came on Twigus.net. For I had someone in the, in the room and he got on his phone 
And you did send it to some media as well, I, I remember, yeah. but it hasn't been caught up for you. No, we yeah. have a content. In, uh, oh, sorry. So um, I got. Um, Uh, ING. A, a reply. Oh, yeah, D, DGD. Was it. There was someone in the room on the presentation got an immediate message saying, Your, um, uh, re, your um, work has been agreed on, please update our system. <laughs> um, which will say that as soon as it comes in the press, as soon as it is hacked or whatever, then people will react. Yeah. And that's the wrong way around. I agree, but that's the way it works. Or, yeah, with did you know there is, of course, there is no yeah. business. Yeah. And if people don't know, or they should know now, that it can cost their business if they don't come to a trial. Um, so does that answer your question? Have we approached press? Last year, yes, we did. We informed tweakers.net in a week before the, the presentation with the paper and, and an interview. So um, they were well informed and published that. But that was certainly an engine who made the things rolling. Uh, and this time we approached the press for that. <coughs> And uh, we got in touch with uh, some of them, but clearly it was not high on their priority mm. list either. Um, so that's pity. There is uh, there are quite some, some news in my presentation of today. I did quite some shooting on Ideal, and I did uh, quite some shooting on TSL 1.0, and that's, uh, that's the main high points. And the other is, yes, your configurations should be there and still the message for Nelly is we have to do something about these CAs. Hmm. It cannot be true that Microsoft, the biggest one, is in power of controlling the CAs for all of the world. It can't be true. Thank you. Um, the enemy of the uh, organizations that you assessed uh, threatened with legal reforms? No. no. I was afraid of that. Yeah. Really afraid of that. It didn't happen. And I did my best to make it uh, as good as possible. Mm -hmm. And I must say, the, the spreadsheet has four pages about a thousand uh, cells. <laughs> And there are about uh, 25 uh, sheets of them. I'm sure there are mistakes there. And if someone finds a mistake, please forward it to me, I will correct it. Okay, but nobody uh, did you assess, and you said from hey, your configuration is wrong, and they said, well, don't go to the press with it or we sue you. No. no. Okay. Which, which you can't expect. No, but. Yeah, but some lawyers are mean. Yeah. But the, 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 the good thing is, the good thing is, I can do this because yeah. I'm independent. I'm not on a salary of anyone, and the money in stream of that is not dependent on what I do. So I'm fully independent, and someone else cannot do that as easily as I can. On the other hand, I'm very, very riskful. For it's easy to get a lawyer on me. And I cannot afford that. No. Okay, the pity enough that works that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is all uh, this, this certification stuff and everything is, is quite hard to understand for, for, for non-geeks, which yeah. is the majority of the people on, on the planet. Yeah. Um, is there any, any hope uh, of, of any support or guidance we, we might get from the browsers in the near future to, to, to what to do and what to detect and, and everything? I, th I think there is, a, there is a, there's a lot of attention to this type of, uh, of topic all around the world and there's a lot of mentioning on that and I think uh, Ristic from SSL Labs is doing a, a great job on that. <coughs> uh, he's traveling around the whole world uh, 
to do risk management is doing well. So there is some acceptance of the measures. But yes, first you get the high level people, high technical people, and then it slowly drops down. And as long as it doesn't come into, let's say, uh, politics, then you're fine. I, I heard that the EFF is also having a program to get awareness on, on this. But I must say, I have done my, this presentation, I've said it quite a, time, a few times, on high schools, on high colleges, uh, IT colleges in Holland. And it doesn't attract them, it doesn't motivate them. It's, let's say so, I don't do that again. It's, it isn't worth my, my time. And that's a pity. So there is a lot to do on colleges, on education, on this topic. Okay, any more questions? Okay, thanks again. Okay. Yeah. Still we can go there. And oh yeah, sure. Have, have some drinks. Yeah. And <laughs> and go fix your configuration. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, have none. Most secure. <laughs>